world where every data point serves a purpose. Our journey begins as we explore the precision of API flow design and its seamless convergence with Power BI, enabling businesses to gain valuable insights. Hi, my name is Hassan, and today I'll walk you through the essential steps of designing and configuring an API flow and integrating it with Power BI using Estera. Let's begin by working with an API flow that contains API request and response objects. First, open the properties of the API request object. Here, define a query parameter named product with a data type string and a default value of electric appliances. Make sure to select the required checkbox and click next. For the HTTP method, choose get and set the resource as deals by product. The published description specifies that you intend to find all deals by product using the get method. Click OK and the API request object is now configured. Next, open the data source browser and drag and drop the employees table onto the API flow. It will be added as a database lookup transformation. Provide the product parameter from the API request object as input to the DB lookup object and preview its output. The result shows that the database lookup object returns a record with the HubSpot ID corresponding to the product name you entered. Now, drag and drop the list all these get endpoint from the API browser, provide the HubSpot ID as an input parameter to the API client object, map the entire properties node from the output of the API client object to the body of the API response object. Previewing the raw response of the object, you can see that the status is shown as 200 OK, verifying a correctly made API flow. Next, save and deploy the API flow, click OK, and the API flow will be deployed. You can view it in the server browser by the name of deals. Expand the deployment node and select the endpoint present inside it. Right click on it and select copy URL to clipboard. You will use this URL in Power BI. Open Power BI desktop, select get data and then more. This will open a new window. Search for web, click on it and select connect. Enter the URL and select advanced. Under the HTTP request header parameters, enter the value authorization then enter the bearer token next to it. Click OK and the query will be evaluated. This opens the Power Query Editor. Enter the name of the query as Deals Electric Appliances. Once the data has been loaded, select the stacked column chart and add the created date and amount values to it to see the visualization of your data. In conclusion, you've successfully configured an API flow and integrated it with Power BI, enabling you to visualize your data seamlessly. Happy data analysis.